globally, manufacturing contributes around $67 trillion to the overall GDP and the overall economy of the globe. Being able to make a small improvement within that area can result in significant improvements for an overall profitability of a business. Being able to use big data to get a wider view of the environment in which they operate is probably one of the easiest ways of gaining that advantage. What excites me, I think, is the possibility of what data can bring to manufacturers. Uh, so in the past, what people have been really able to do is to check, look at data in terms of what the business has done or try to understand why it has done it. So with big data and basically you can store a, a large amount of data and with machine learning you can start looking at predicting when things will happen. So this brings a lot of uh, value for manufacturers because they can start uh, running the uh, field engineering more efficiently, optimizing lots of services, forecasting the sales. So if you look at the value that manufacturers can bring from the large amount of data, it's quite tremendous. Typically, organizations will look at uh, reporting uh, as being the how have we performed, what have we done, what have trends have we seen in the past. What big data allows you to do, and particularly when you combine it with something like machine learning and data science, it allows you to look at the predictions, predictability of trends, how is certain changes in the weather, for example, going to affect demand for a particular line of products. That type of trend you can only see if you store a lot of historical data and you start to apply machine learning and predictability going forwards. If you think about the disruptive uh, the disruption of companies that come in and change the, the, the market. It's about thinking about how you would be in 10 years and 15 years. And yes, fair enough, you do realize that it's a journey, but it's looking at your business and trying to see what place you would have. And a lot of it, you know, with, in Microsoft we say a lot that a lot of companies are going to be software companies. So it's about seeing the assets that you have and how you can make them a competitive advantage. And it's no longer about selling those hardware devices, but it's actually um, um, monetizing the data that you hold on those devices. The possibility for change within an organization driven by data is absolutely enormous. Most organizations don't really appreciate the amount of value that's within the data sets that their organizations create. Some organizations aren't even aware of the data sets that their businesses create and build on. The truly successful organizations are the ones that are going through that change to influence the way they deliver products to customers. And the data can really underpin that to such a huge extent. And if you then combine that with data science, Organizations are seeing trends within their business that they never knew existed. It's being able to act on those trends and act on those insights that are really transforming the successful organizations. And there is, there is absolutely endless possibilities within the data sets that organizations create. But when you then also combine that with the external data sets, such as weather, traffic movement, that type of information, you can really start to leverage the power of big data that's when train change really starts to become exciting. Understand how your products are used by your customers. That's the first, first, first thing. Because by understanding how your products are used by your customers, you can improve them or you can market them better. The first piece of advice I would give is, is to start now. There's never a, a good point at which you should start, but now is, is when you should start collecting data immediately. Even if you don't have an immediate need for it, there will always be a time at which that data can be leveraged later on. Second thing is use the cloud. Make, make use of the, the cloud services that are available now. There, that provide such an effective, cost-effective platform now that it's, it's a great place to start storing data as long as compliance and regulations allow. The other thing is to start investing in data science, either through ties with a consulting firm or to start employing your own data science, data scientists so that you can look at the, um, the analysis, the predictive analysis of that data set and really start to make it work for your organization. The big uh, advice I would give is you have to start now because um, I think 
the longer you wait, uh, the more other we start on that journey and those opportunity will be less. And the second thing I will start is start with something that makes sense to you because then you will gain the skill and by gaining the skill, then you can start thinking about outside of the box. So because if you start something that makes sense to you, you can definitely um, uh, see a success criteria because you know that business. But I think that's just a starting point. The next point should be where is it that you want to take your manufacturing company? Mm -hmm.